system has been destroyed i just picked my phone this is Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and I just destroyed its system and now it's bricked. If you're also facing this kind of problem, this kind of system has been destroyed problem or if your phone is stuck on boot loop while flashing the room or while routing or while doing any kind of customization or modification in the system, then this video is for you. So if you also used to be over smart like me and at last get buried, then this video is for you. So make sure you watch video until the end and subscribe to our crack story YouTube channel. Otherwise, your phone will also get bricked. So if you want your phone in good condition and don't want it to get bricked, then right now click on that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well. If you like this video then hit that like button as well. So hello and welcome guys welcome to crack Sweet YouTube channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how can you fix your bricked phone. So without wasting time let's get started. My phone is bricked here I can't even boot my phone into the system. When I long press the power button, nothing happens. It only so the system has been destroyed. And I can't even go to the recovery mode. When I long press the power button and volume up button together, then nothing happens. It always so the system has been destroyed. But fortunately, when you long press the power button and volume down button together, then I can go to the fast boot mode. So you can see here, I'm in fast boot mode right now. If I can access to the fast boot mode, then I can flash fast boot ROM using MI flash tool. But to flash the fast boot ROM, your phone's bootloader must be unlocked. And my phone's bootloader was unlocked before it gets bricked. But in this video, I'm not going to use MI flash tool because I've already made a separate video video on topic how to fix bricked phone using MI flash tool and on that video my phone's bootloader was locked and I've talked lots of important and informative things on that video so if you're also facing this kind of problem then you must watch that video once I'll provide the link of that video in the description below so that you can easily watch that video and in this video I'm going to use Xiaomi ADV fastboot tools to flash the fastboot room you can also use MI flash tool so for this simply connect your phone to the computer or laptop with the help of USB cable and then go to the computer so we are in computer right now and in computer you have to download these files. The first one is adb setup file, the second one is java setup file, the third one is xiaomi adb fastboot tools zip file, the last one is fastboot rom zip file for your phone and that is xiaomi redmi note 8 for me. So now install this adb installer on your computer. Right click on it and click on run as administrator. And then this kind of interface will appear. Simply press y and hit enter, press y and hit enter button again and then press y and hit enter button again and click on next and then click on finish so adb drivers are installed on our device and then simply install that java setup on your computer i have already installed it and i'm going to skip this setup cause this will take some long time and then simply extract those two zip files xiaomi adb fastboot tools and fastboot rom zip file so here are those respective extracted zip file so now i will show you that my phone's bootloader is unlocked using cmd so for this go to your c drive and then go to your adb folder and click on there and type cmd and hit the enter button then command promote will appear and here you have to type some commands and our first command is fastboot space devices and some number will shown here that means our phone is connected to the computer in fastboot mode and then after you have to type another command which will show either your phone's boot order is locked or unlocked and the command is fastboot space oem space device dash info and hit the enter button and at first you can see device unlocked true written there that means the phone's bootloader is unlocked if there was false then the phone's bootloader is locked so our phone's bootloader is unlocked so we can flash fastboot rom so at last type exit exit and the command promote will exit from the window so now simply open that xiaomi adb fastboot tool extracted folder and open that Xiaomi ADB Fastboot Tool jar file. So this is the basic interface of Xiaomi ADB Fastboot Tools. And you can see device connected in Fastboot mode. And you can see boot order unlocked written there. Then go to the Fastboot section. And the another interesting feature of this tool is that you can download any fastboot ROM of any Xiaomi device. At last you can see there is MIUI ROM downloader section and from here you can download ROM for your any Xiaomi device directly. Uh, this is the interesting feature you can use this feature also. So now let's flash fastboot ROM using this tool. So for this you have to click on that select ROM folder and then select the fastboot ROM extracted folder that you extracted a moment ago. It's in our desktop. So I will click on desktop and this is the extracted folder of fastboot ROM. So I will click on it and then click on select folder. And now the folder is selected. 
and now you have to select the method from which method you want to flash this fast boot rom on your device and at first there is clean install and if you select this option then it will completely format your phone and clean install the fast boot rom on your device and this will not lock the bootloader of your device and at second there is clean and lock option and if you select this method then it will completely format your phone and clean install the fast boot rom on your device and also lock the bootloader of your phone and at last there is update if you want to update the rom then you have to select that method and the best option is clean install because it will not lock the bootloader of our phone so i will click on clean install and then i will click on flash rom and then it says are you sure want to proceed yes click on yes and then you can see the flashing process is now started so now it's installing the fast boot rom on our device so this process will take some little bit of time so i will skip this setup and at last there is don't return there that means the flashing process is now completed and at the same time you will notice that your phone will reboot into the system so now our working computer is done so let's go to the mobile phone our phone is rebooting and this will take some time so we have to wait so now it's done so we are in our boot setup so here you have to do simple basic boot setup so i will skip this setup as well so finally we have unbricked our bricked phone so in this way you can unbrick your phone if it's bricked and everything is working perfectly fine so in this way you can unbreak your bricked phone so that's it for today guys i hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button comment below if you have any kinds of queries suggestions or any kinds of problem share this video as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe to our crack show youtube channel and hit that notification bell as well so thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video until then goodbye